everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic. I'm back with another bite-sized review. That's our smaller review format here on the Collect Jurassic channel. So instead of our big, long, in-depth 4K reviews, these are a little bit shorter, but we still get to look at all the awesome things with the toys, the articulation, the paint app, all that good stuff. Um, but we'll just be doing it in a little shorter, uh, little shorter time frame here. So today's latest bite-sized review, we're talking about the new Mattel Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. What a mouthful! Attack Pack Gallimimus figure. Uh, this this Attack Pack wave is just hitting. I think it's in, available in Europe and a couple countries. Hopefully, US is not too far behind. But in this wave, we got this Gallimimus here, and, as well as a Dimorphodon and Trudon, um, which is uh, a really cool species. But this Gallimimus is super exciting too um, because of this throwback paint job it has, which I will get to uh, when I get it out of the box and um, you know we do some comparisons with uh, with that throwback figure. But Gallimimus. A figure that Mattel uh, released as part of the first wave of Animal Kingdom um, and hasn't uh, really touched it too much since the Fallen Kingdom toys. Um, and now it's finally back and it's back under the Camp Cretaceous banner. Does that mean that Camp Cretaceous is going to have Gallimimus is here in the next season? I hope so. And I'd be even more thrilled if they had this paint application because it is just so cool um, but you can see in the box here we got all the camp cretaceous branding the netflix mentioned uh the mention of the little sticker pack inside that i've opened up about a zillion times on the channel on the back we got nothing i i, I think this this figure i got is from europe so it's international um it's literally the back is covered in language there's nothing else on here there's not even a picture of the toy it's literally all just language kind of sad back in the day we used to be able to see all the different figures uh, that we were going to get um on the back but now it's just uh different languages so anyway <coughs> without further ado let's go ahead and open up this galmimus and take a look at the figure itself because what fun is a toy if you can't get it out of the box so I'll go ahead and put the box aside and get out Gally here to take a look at. Um, so here she is, Gallimimus. Um, we got the uh, the articulation I'll go over first, uh, which is just the, the, the legs as well as the arms and the neck also articulates too. Um, and uh, the tail does not articulate. This figure has been kind of uh, hard to stand. I've heard a lot of people complain about it. I personally have never had too hard of a time um, posing it. Um, it's just about kind of finding the balance. But it is su a super awkward pose. And if you kind of get out of that key pose, it gets harder and harder to, um, to uh, you know, kind of pose. But it is the same sculpt as the other one. Um, I think Fresh Out of the Box just does a really good job um, staying posed. But that paint application with this brown color with the blue and the red, it's so cool. And it kind of reminds me of something. That's right, the Kenner, classic Kenner Gallimimus. I'm going to go ahead and get the hatchling in here too um, that came. This These figures are old. These figures are from 1993, 1994. So um, pretty old figures. Um, but... They do have that paint coloration um, that's signature for a lot of Jurassic collecting fans. Um, you know, this has been the Gallimimus that we've kind of grown up with in terms of toy colorations um, with that blue and that red on it. And, but, uh, you know, the movie figures and the movie designs never really had that colorway. Uh, same thing with the new movies. But this figure is totally paying homage to that. You know, you can see totally the blue and the red on that straight up. Um, it's very purposeful. Uh, it's, you know, it's straight up honoring the Kenner figure, which is really, really cool. Uh, I think they've done a lot of interesting little um, nods like that with all the Mattel toys. Um, or with a lot of the Mattel toys. But this one's probably the most obvious to date if you ask me it's just very clear um what they're trying to do and it's just so cool i think it's just um it's awesome i'm uh totally stoked that they uh that they really did it one to one so um that's what's really interesting about this particular figure uh as far as gallimimus mattel figures go it's definitely the most uh interesting color and pattern too so points for that otherwise it's really that tie in to the kinder figure that's so cool i did want to go take one second and uh, talk about the little pamphlet here in case anybody wanted to uh, know what that was they're kind of new to the camp cretaceous see look now i can't get this guy to pose um they're new to the camp cretaceous figures they all come with this little um artwork for the show a, a, a maze that's insultingly easy at least for an adult but I would imagine a kid would find this pretty easy too. Um, and then the answers to the maze. And then you can have these little stickers here that you can put all over the maze. Blue, T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Toro, Bumpy. They're all here to put on this little map. But 
star of the show is always going to be the figure and this is just an awesome awesome new camp cretaceous figure i hope it means that gallimimus will be in the next season and if it is i hope it has this colorway because again that kenner paint job is just so cool but i think that's all i have for today again i'm tim with collect jurassic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time